This video explains how to set the BC1412 ALTI. The computer has a clearly structured display and is operated using four large buttons. The Mode 1 button at the bottom right. The Mode 2 button at the top right. The Reset button at the top left. And the Set button at the bottom left. The Mode buttons generally enable you to scroll forward while the reset and set buttons enable you to scroll backward. Press and hold the set button for three seconds to access the settings menu. The words setting open flash briefly on the display, followed by English. You are now in the language settings. Press the set button, followed by reset or mode two to select the language you want. Once this appears on the display, confirm your selection by pressing the Set button. Press Mode 1 to open the next item in the Settings menu. You are now in the setting for the speed unit. To select Miles Per Hour, as when changing any settings, first press the Set button, then select the new unit by pressing Mode 2. Confirm your selection by pressing the Set button. Pressing Mode takes you to the Settings menu for the current altitude. Press the Set button to activate the first digit, the thousands value. Now press Mode 2 or Reset to enter the right value. Press Mode 1 to move to the next decimal place. Once you have entered the correct altitude, confirm your entry by pressing the Set button. Pressing Mode 1 takes you to the setting area for the start altitude. Here you can enter the altitude of your usual start location, which you can access at any time in the function menu by pressing a button combination. Press Set to activate the setting function for the thousands digit. Further digits can be activated by pressing Mode 1 and entered by pressing Mode 2. To close the setting again, press the Set button. Press Mode 1 to move to the menu item, Wheel Size. For the computer to precisely measure your speed, you must set the size of your wheel. Information on how to do this can be found in Point 5 of the operating instructions provided, or by watching our Wheel Size video. Activate the option for setting the wheel size by pressing the Set button. The first two digits flash. Press and hold Mode 2 until the digits show the size you have determined. If you need to lower the number, press and hold the Reset button. Now press Mode 1 again and the second digit after the point will flash. This can also be changed by pressing Mode 2. Set the final digit using the process we have just described and confirm it by pressing the Set button. Pressing Mode 1 now takes you to the setting area for the current time. Activate the setting by pressing the Set button, then press Mode 2 to select the current hour. Holding down the button scrolls through the digits rapidly. You can again lower the value by pressing the Reset button. Press Mode 1 to activate the minute values, then specify them by pressing Mode 2 or Reset. Press the Set button to confirm the time setting. Pressing Mode 1 now takes you to the setting area for the information total distance. If this is not your first bike computer, you can transfer the total distance that you covered with your old device from your previous device. Press the Set button to activate the display. Press the Mode 2 button to enter the numbers. Pressing Mode 1 takes you to each of the decimal places. Confirm your entries by pressing the Set button. The same applies for the total time in the next menu item, which you can again reach by pressing Mode 1. Activate this setting by pressing the Set button. You can now enter the thousands digit for the hours by pressing Mode 2. Press Mode 1 to switch to the hundreds, which you can then change by pressing Mode 2 again. Repeat this step for each of the two remaining digits. Now press the Set button followed by Mode 2 or Reset to enter the minutes. Close this entry by pressing the Set button. 
Pressing Mode 1 now takes you to the total altitude information. Enter the values from your old device as already described. The final menu item enables you to set the contrast. This specifies the intensity with which the information appears on the display. The default value is 2. After activating the setting by pressing the Set button, you can choose a value between 1 and 3 by pressing Mode 2. You have now configured all the settings and can exit the Settings menu. To do so, press and hold the Set button for 3 seconds. Further information about the functions and settings of Sigma Sport products can be found on our microsites and our YouTube channel.